Okay, so on the left hand side of the screen you can see the new macro stone super cream limestone. On the right hand side of the screen that is our ivory sandstone which is a honed product. It's also known as honed Himalayan sandstone or honed Himalayan mint on the market. Until now if you've wanted an off-white colour for outside and you wanted to go with natural stone which is a very wise choice there hasn't been a lot of options other than the honed ivory product on the right hand side without paying crazy amounts of dollars per square meter. So we're really happy to introduce the super cream limestone which is the one you see on the left. As you can see very similar color tones. Uh, the off-white color is one that we've done our research in Australia over the last 18 months and it's a very popular color. It tends to go with most homes and most surroundings, especially in the coastal areas. So the one problem that we've had uh, with the honed ivory is the maintenance side of things. Uh, keeping it clean has always been an issue for many of our clients and people who have purchased this product on the market. It must be sealed and it must be sealed regularly in order to maintain that off-white clean colour. What I'm going to show you now is a little experiment using a bottle of red wine. I'm going to show you the difference between the incredible new super cream limestone and the ivory sandstone. So I'm going to um, tip some wet red wine over the ivory sandstone first and just compare the result to the super cream limestone on the left hand side. Okay, so I'm going to leave it for 15 seconds on the sandstone. Okay, we're going to do these both exactly the same way. First, clean the red wine. Now just a damp cloth with some water, just to help wipe it. Now both of these stones have not been sealed. Okay, as you can see, 15 seconds, we've ended up with a pretty, pretty dark red stain on that stone. Okay, and now we're going to do the super cream. We're gonna leave this for 30 seconds, so twice as long. So you can see the way it wants to run away off the stone. Okay, so now we're going to do exactly the same to this one. You can already see, see how easily that's coming off. And give it the, the water like we did with the ivory as well. So as, as you can see, the, the red wine does not leave a great red stain on the super cream limestone. And once that dries out, it'll return fully back to its normal state. It's still a little bit damp at the moment. Uh, I'm going to put a photo of it dried out on this landing page as well. So look, if you're looking for an off-white natural stone that you don't want to have to be consistently sealing and maintaining and cleaning, super cream limestone is a no-brainer. It ticks all the boxes as far as colour tones go and as you've just seen, red wine, which is the most difficult thing to protect against with paving, 
is um, is unable to penetrate through it after it's been on the stone for the same amount of time sorry double the amount of time as the sandstone so have a look further down the web page have a look at some more photos the super cream limestone uh, it's going to be the next big thing in the paving industry because of one reason only it takes the headaches away and you get that classic off-white look that a lot of people in Australia are looking for have an awesome day thanks for watching this video bye